Okay guys, so welcome back to our YouTube channel. So we have engine here. 4B40. Engine of Eclipse Cross 2021 model. So we are going to perform engine of rolling because of uh, something internal mechanical parts of our engine so that's why we replace our cylinder block because there's a deep scratch in number two cylinder so this is the new cylinder block as you can see there that's the old one so our episode for today we are going to perform the upper crankshaft bearing selection so here in our cylinder block, at the top right portion of our cylinder block, there's a number here engraved in our cylinder block. This is the numbers that indicates the standard bearing of our upper crankshaft bearing. So we have five digits here for our upper crankshaft bearing so we have the bearing cap here so we have five bearings for our lower crankshaft bearing so the number here indicates for our bearing selection so this is our illustration this is the timing chain side first number indicates that number one crankshaft main journal number two number three number four and number five the crankshaft bearing upper should be selected based on the identification mark on the right side face of the cylinder block this is illustrated on the table shown below Every crankshaft bearing upper is identified by the number mark at the illustrated location. So these are the cylinder block identification mark. 1, 2, 3. Journal diameter mm 50.00 to 50.005. That is for crankshaft bearing 1. Then 2. The journal diameter is 50.005 to 50.010 for number 2. And 3, the journal diameter for millimeter is 50.010 to 50.015 mm. Okay. For bearing selection of our Upper crankshaft bearing, we have five digits number here. So, in this side, this is the front of our engine, the timing chain side. So, we have one, two, one, two, two. One represent as standard bearing one for upper crankshaft for our number one main journal. 2 represent as standard bearing for upper crankshaft number 2 main journal next number is 1 represent as standard bearing for upper crankshaft for number 3 main journal 2 represent as standard bearing for upper crankshaft for our crankshaft main journal number four and the last number is two represent as standard two for upper crankshaft bearing for our crankshaft main journal okay so that's the procedure of our upper crankshaft bearing selection okay guys so we have the parts 
here for our upper crankshaft bearing. So standard one for upper crankshaft bearing. So one represent as standard one for our number one upper crankshaft bearing. So the part number is 1052B535. This is for bearing crankshaft for upper number one. Then standard two upper crankshaft bearing. This one number two. The number two upper crankshaft bearing. Standard two part number is one zero five. 2B 536. Okay. Then for our number 3 upper crankshaft bearing standard one. So this is our upper crankshaft bearing. So same part number 1052B 535. Okay. Then for number 4. Upper crankshaft bearing standard 2. So this is our bearing standard 2 1052B536. Then for our number 5 upper crankshaft bearing standard 2. Okay, so same. Same part number. As, okay. So that's the way how to select standard bearing for upper crankshaft bearing. Okay, next we will uh, select the standard bearing for our lower crankshaft bearing. Okay, the crankshaft bearing lower should be selected based on the identification mark on the crankshaft. Rear planes illustrated on the table shown below. So this is our lower crankshaft bearing, a detention number. Every crankshaft bearing lower is identified by the number mark at the illustrated location. Crankshaft identification mark. So we have two, three, four, and five. Journal diameter mm forty six point zero. 19 to 46.024 crankshaft bearing number mark so 2 then identification mark 3 journal diameter for uh, millimeter 46.014 to 46.019 crankshaft bearing number mark is 3 Crankshaft identification mark number 4, journal diameter, millimeter 46.009 to 46.014 mm. Crankshaft bearing number mark is 4. Crankshaft identification mark number 5, journal diameter, millimeter. 46.004 to 46.009 crankshaft bearing number mark is 5 okay next is crankshaft bearing lower insulations we have here our rear crankshaft indicated the uh, number 1 is the lower part of our crankshaft next is number 2 number 3 number 4 and number 5 for our lower crankshaft bearing selection. In our rear crankshaft, so this is, these are the number ingrid in our rear crankshaft. We have five digits here. As you can see, number three, Number three, number four, number three, and number three. 
So the lower side indicates that that is number one. Then the next number three is number two. Number four is for number three. Number three is for number four and number three. The last digit is for number five. Okay. Okay guys, so these parts are for our lower crankshaft bearing. So standard tree for lower crankshaft bearing, this is the part number 1052B547. So this is for number one lower crankshaft bearing then another standard tree for number two number two lower crankshaft bearing then for number three standard four for number three lower crankshaft bearing and this is the part number 1052B548 this is for number 3 lower crankshaft bearing and for the number 4 crankshaft bearing is standard 3 for lower crankshaft bearing this is the part number 1052B547 and uh, for number 5 also standard 3 for lower crankshaft bearing so same number because same standard number three okay so these are our lower crankshaft bearing to be installed in our crankshaft main bearing cup i hope you learned something in our video episode for today thank you and god bless everyone Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you can notify it to the next video tutorial.